So this is going to be part two of talking about membrane potentials and this is where we're going to be initiating an action potential. So just kind of a quick review of what's going on here. Um, when we established our polarized membrane we had a lot of sodium located in the extracellular environment so this is going to be outside which I can't seem to spell so I'm sorry. Um, let's just erase that. Okay, so this is outside the cell. Um, and so we got lots of sodium out here. Okay, and then inside the cell we had lots and lots of potassium. Okay, and you may remember that the difference in ions pumped as well as some other factors resulted in the inside of this cell having a charge of minus 70 millivolts. So if we were going to graph that, so here's my little lane graph, there's time, here's voltage, here's minus 70. So we're hanging out about right there so far. Okay, now it's time to introduce some new players. Okay, so first we're going to introduce my good friend, the stimulus gated sodium channel. So he's going to look something like this. Okay, um, all right. He's got a little hole in the middle for the sodiums to go through. Let's just uh, fill that in. Okay, so here he is. And uh, you notice he's got this little gap right in here. Make it nice and circular. Okay, and then we are going to also close him up. Okay, so here's the gate right here. So this is a stimulus gated sodium channel. That means that it's going to take some sort of external signal or a stimulus to open up this channel. Okay, and then I also want to introduce you to another player in this game, and that's going to be the voltage gated sodium channel. So this guy's going to look something like this. Uh oh, oh, that was trippy. Whoa, oh, I see what it did. Here we go. Let's close that up a little bit. There we go. Wow. There we go. All right. Fabulous. Now this guy is going to have a little gate on him, just like that other one. But instead of having this dock for the external stimulus, this guy is going to have a voltage sensor, a voltage detector that sticks out into the cell and is constantly measuring the intracellular potential, which as you see is currently running at about minus 70. Now, to kick off this whole stimulation business or to depolarize the cell, we have to have the stimulus that's going to open this, uh, the stimulus gated sodium channel. So if this were, um, let's say, a uh, somatic neuromuscular junction, um, then that stimulus is going to be our good friend acetylcholine. So here's acetylcholine. Okay, and he's going to come over here and he's going to dock in this spot. And when acetylcholine binds to the receptor, that's going to open the gate. So this is going to open up and like so, and that's going to allow sodium to come into the cell. All right, so sodium is going to start diffusing into the cell. So this is facilitated diffusion because the sodium is moving down its concentration gradient, but it's using this protein channel in order to do so. Now, as the sodium diffuses into the cell, the electrical potential, the charge inside the cell, is going to start to go up. Okay, so our cell is going to start creeping up in voltage, and eventually it's going to hit the minus 59 mark. And so when this detector gets to minus 59, then this channel is going to open up. So this is a voltage gated sodium channel. Let me go down here and write that in here. So this is a this is a voltage gated sodium channel. 
So rather than opening and closing in response to the presence or absence of a stimulus, this guy opens and closes depending on the intracellular voltage. So it's going to open at minus 59 millivolts which is our threshold voltage. So this is what sets the threshold is the set point at which these gates open. So now we hit minus 59 and whammo, sodium is gonna start flooding in. This is gonna cause a chain reaction in other voltage gated sodium channels and our voltage is gonna go way up. So the cell is going to depolarize. Okay, so depolarization is a function of sodium coming into the cell. All right, so that's how we're going to initiate our action potential or the voltage that's going to trigger the cell to actually do whatever it is it does. If it's a nerve cell, it'll transmit. If it's a muscle cell, it'll get shorter. And so in the next video, we're going to talk about how we flip-flop the cell and not only depolarize it, but repolarize it.